Hey guys, it's Anne over at Plant Obsessed and this is an update on my experimental worm bin restricted space. The temperature in these bins is up to 60 degrees Fahrenheit. That makes me very happy. Come on spring, right? It's March, we're done. Done with all of your shenanigans. I'm gonna do a little digging around and see if we can find any baby worms or, or anything. Uh, there were 20 worms in here originally. I'm gonna start with the middle bin this time. See if I can find any young worms. There's one of our adults. Anybody spots any cocoons? I'm kind of trying to make this really close up so that people on a bigger screen might be able to see something that I'm missing. Ooh, another worm. But I almost think that these, we don't have a lot of reproduction going on in here. I think it's been just suboptimal for them. Oop, hello. And uh, I don't ever have problems finding my worms, but I just, I don't see any wisps or cocoons to speak of. Um, but I have not seen any, anything obviously wisp-like to get super excited about. Here's a little bit of a feeding I did last time with the pureed food. Sorry, I'm kind of bumpy, but I'm doing this by hand. The worms look happy. Maybe not happy enough to have babies, but hey, they're alive. And that's what I'm... Low expectations right now. But I will feed them up later. Probably give them all a half a banana or something. This is the smallest restricted space. This is the one where I really think the worms themselves were struggling and I, and I don't know why. I filmed the last time I checked them out, but I don't think I posted it because it was, it was a whole lot of nothing happened. Not exciting. But if you look and see how small they are, this, this is probably one of the original worms. Very small. This one looks decently healthy, but it's still very, in my opinion, small compared to the ones that I see in the other bins. Um, I'm not seeing any baby worms in here either. But yeah, I'm still gonna, I'm gonna feed them all the same. And then here we will go to the largest of the, the bins. And this, I mean, it truly is, it's, you know, part of me is like, am I seeing what I want to see because this has got the most material in it and I, I somehow psychologically want to see this do better because that's my hypothesis. But most of the time when I find the worms in here, they really are more robust, they're bigger, which would be great if I could show you one of them. That would. Oh, well, there we go. Whoop, where did he go? Oh, shit. That just happened. I tried to pick him up, and he just dropped his damn tail on me. That just happened. God dang it. And... Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Damn it. Ugh. Not cool. Not cool at all. All right, well, there you have it. They do drop their their tails. And uh, they do it right in front of my dang face. Well, this is the tail part, and you can see where it's broken off. It's, if I can get it in the camera right, you can see where that's broken off. And here's the worm with the now missing tail, and you can see that he's got a stub. I am sorry, dude. Well, that just sucks. Um, I'm not going to take the tail out. It can get reabsorbed into the rest of everything. Um, that sucks. But we must push on. Drop your tail and carry on. So... 
Moisture looks pretty good in here. After the uh, the tail incident, I'm gonna not dig around in there. I don't see any cocoons. I don't see any babies. Um, so there you have it. African Nightcrawler throws his tail off. Film at 11. All right. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms. And uh, not that I really expect you to like the tail falling off, but I think it's educational, um, especially when it happens right in front of your face. Um, in the bins where it has happened to me before, the worm does live, so it's not killing the worm. I'm assuming that they're not happy about it, but it doesn't kill them. Um, and they're still going to eat compost and do what they're supposed to do for me. All right, well, thanks for hanging out with me and my worms, and like this video, subscribe if you have not already subscribed, and I will see you guys later.